In the first Star Trek movie, Star Trek The Motion Picture, V'ger, this uh, Voyager probe, amasses so much knowledge that it attains consciousness itself. Um, I don't really see how that's possible, but it's an interesting experiment, an interesting speculation that uh, just the amassing of knowledge is what results in uh, consciousness. Interestingly though, we're born without a great deal of knowledge, but we're born with consciousness. So I don't really know if that's what um, what could be seen as the cause of consciousness, just so much uh, knowledge in the memory banks, as it were, that uh, consciousness somehow spontaneously uh, comes about. Um, and some people use that sort of thing as a bolster for their case for hard determinism. Um, the uh, hard determinist will say that there's an illusion of, um, or a, an appearance rather, of individuality in a universe where there actually isn't any. Uh, ultimately, there isn't any individuality. We're all simply functions of causality. Um, and that any appearance of, um, of uh, sentience or any, any appearance of individuality or any appearance of initiative or agency is simply a function of the complexity of the universe. Okay, I understand that. That's, that's an argument that's not that tough to grasp. But again, it, you have to throw the boundaries wider again. And, and this does lead to some sort of infinite regression. Um, Upon what or whom is this illusion being visited? Or what is making the error that is assuming initiative and agency exists, uh, that individuality exists, when there is none? Uh, um, what, uh, what is the I out there that may not exist, and why does it think that it's an I? What thinks that it's an I? What is making the error that I-ness exists? Uh, it's, as I say, it's infinite regression. And that very fact might give us, um, might give us some sort of pause to revisit our whole view of uh, determinism versus free will. Is that a false dichotomy? Is it, is it really an either-or thing? Uh, some people simply say that determinism is, and any appearances to the contrary, are, are a function of the, f the complexity of the phenomenal universe. Well, okay, that's, that's all very well, but I remember the priests back in Catholic school telling me the same thing. They, say, they would say that God exists in spite of all the appearances to the contrary, and you just have to always bear that in mind when you see all these weird things that seem to contradict your belief in God. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. God moves in a, in a mysterious way. Well, apparently now, <laughs> determinism moves in mysterious ways. Thank you.